Hi guys, Rachel Bob here. It's been a minute, but I'm finally back. We've got a lot to talk about today, especially with everything going on in the world of The Sims. I thought I'd do this special video just talking about it because I miss talking to you guys. And there's some interesting things about mobile that have been floating around that I would like to discuss. But before I go into that, I'd like to tell you about this awesome chair that has been an absolute game changer for me. So today's sponsor, thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sending me this chair. This is the FlexiSpot Lotus XC6 in burnt orange. It's easily the comfiest chair I've ever used. It rocks, reclines and swivels with no limitations. Perfect for long gaming sessions or long naps. It's so comfy, you can literally fall asleep in it. Plus it's got this really handy side pocket where you can store a book, your phone, whatever you like. It comes in three colors. There's a beige, there's a light gray, and then there's this beautiful burnt orange. This has easily become the centerpiece of our room. I've currently got it as part of my bedroom office setup and I love just transitioning onto there when I want to edit TikTok videos or do a little bit of mobile gaming. I really wish I'd had this chair back when I was nursing my daughter because the rocking motion is so calming. So if you're in the market for a new chair, please do check out this Flexi Spot Lotus XC6. It's comfy, stylish and just perfect for a chair in your living room, for working on, gaming on, or just relaxing, or if you've got a baby on the way, this is the ultimate chair. The only downside to this chair is trying to get the footrest back in is quite difficult. There's a knack to it, but it's also very loud. I'll put a link in the description box below and check out the reviews while you're there. There's not a bad word to say about this. It's just so amazing. All right, now let's talk about the Sims franchise. I'm probably just going to show some Sims mobile footage looking through things I've missed over the last few months while I talk about this stuff with you. So let's get going. Wow, there's been a lot going on lately. I wasn't expecting all this information to come out. And honestly, it's kind of nice to talk about something a little more positive because in recent years, it feels like there's been more drama surrounding The Sims than actually in the game. We've had some huge announcements, like there's a Sims movie coming. This was rumored, but not officially confirmed. This is now absolutely in motion. And I'm very excited to see what kind of I like how that's going to work. Then there's also My Sims, which is making a comeback. It seems to, that they've maybe seen the success of games like Animal Crossing and they've already got a game that they can remaster. Obviously, that takes a lot of time. They've done that. It's coming out November, I think. It might be a little bit late for that to be on that bandwagon, but I've actually never played My Sims, so I'm very excited to get that on my Switch and give it a go. And by the sounds of it, my Sims is going to be here for a very long time. It's literally part of their projections into the future. So I don't think we're just going to be seeing remasters. I don't know. But um, I, I guess it might depend on the success of what they're releasing now. Such a random move. And you can say that about all the news that's come out. So Sims 4 is sticking around. It's the Sims forever. They're just going to change that. That's that They're not actually really going to do that. But honestly... Like, it feels like it's been here forever. It's so weird that we're not getting a new game, especially given that Sims 4 is so broken. But they're going to keep piling on it. And um, yeah, alongside that, they've got Project Rene, which we've had little bits of information and things about. It's not The Sims 5. It's a new game. We'll have to wait and see. And Project Stories. Now this is where it's really interesting for us mobile gamers. Project Stories is a mobile game and it's going to be a platform cr for creating and sharing stories within the Sims universe. Does this mean it's going to be an amazing new Sims game that is going to be so exciting like the Sims Mobile was in its early days? Or is it just going to be like those games like Kim Kardashian Hollywood kind of vibes is that why it's called stories and is it going to just be a reskin of a game like that with Sims branding I don't trust the franchise anymore we're also going to have the Sims hub which is going to tie everything together again we have no idea how this is going to work but always good to have a hub and yeah despite the Sims 4's current state they seem to be committed to it one thing that wasn't mentioned at all was the Sims 
mobile it's just not coming back guys it's so sad it's not what it was and they're still pushing out paid content and it's still buggy we are getting some things with each update and that's wonderful of course but tons of paid content tons of bugs and i don't know is anyone still playing i'm just holding out hope for this project stories all in all i think the sims mobile in all honesty, I think the Sims mob, like Sims 3 players getting something new, like a mountain location or something, that's awesome. The Sim, I'm so happy that the Sims free play is moving forward and not being cut. That is just incredible news that it's just remained so strong during all this tumultuous change, all this like incredibly unsettling change within the franchise i feel like the sims mobile to me was so spot on when it launched in terms of what i want from a mobile game like the sims 2 was so spot on with what people wanted from the franchise and what the core of the sims is in a pc game and my sims is great for where that sits in the world of well it was Wii, but now it's going to be switch that's great. These things sit perfectly where they are. The Sims 4 is not The Sims, in my opinion, the core part of it. In my opinion, everything's been completely mainstream, merchandise teen-oriented, washed down, quick release, cartoony, money-making machine, instead of random, chaotic, core gameplay, cult game hilarious nostalgic vibes and of course on the graph that they showed at this event where they announced all this stuff they had bars showing how well each game had done sims 1 great sims 2 better sims 3 worse sims 4 way better but then it has been out for a decade so it will do. I'm sure that the company knows what they need to do in order to survive. I'm sure that they have re their reasons for going down the road that they're going down, but it's not the road I wanted to go down with these games. I hope I can get my Sims fix from things like My Sims and Project Rennie and this upcoming Project Stories. I'm really intrigued to see what it is, but I'm not getting my hopes up just yet. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye.